friends welcome back to our channel so in today's session we'll discuss about uh, one more function in OpenCV that is a uh, draw lines so in the previous session we have discussed about the two functions to draw the rectangle and to draw the circle now we'll discuss about uh, one more function that is a uh, lines so le first let us uh, see the syntax for drawing the lines and then we'll implement that one so line cv2 dot line is a function and uh, this function is used to draw a line on a specified image so now what are the arguments cv2 dot line the first one is the image in which we want to draw a line and the next one is a start point that is a coordinate x and y coordinates and the stop point because in order to draw a line, we need we require the start point and the stop point. So the start point and a uh, stop point, and then the color channel, so which is represented in uh, red, green, and blue, and then the thickness of the line to to display, right? So this is the syntax for drawing a line. Now we'll see. So first we have to import the OpenCV that is the CV2, and now First, we have to read the image. So I will read the image into IMG. So CV2 dot the function I am read and uh, take the image. So I will take the image from here. So we had a more number of images. So I'll take the image, right? So this one, this one. So go to the properties so that we'll get the path. So just to copy the path and uh, give the path here. So use a double quotations slash dog dot jpg and use a double slashes as we discussed in the previous sessions. If it is a single slash, uh, it will treat it as a escape sequences. Now the image is available in img. Now we have to draw the line. Okay, so uh, result image is equal to cv2 dot line. So on the img, we have to draw the line. So give the coordinates 100, 100 and start point from that position till 500 and 500 position end point the color. So it is represented in three channels that is a red, green, blue. So I'll go with the 200, 100 and uh, 205. And the last one is the thickness. So how much thickness the line should be. So I'll go with the 10. So after executing this statement, the image in that image a line will be drawn from 100 100 point to 500 500 now <coughs> display the image so we have to write that image so cv2 dot im write function and copy the path so at this position the resulted image will be displayed and give here dog line dot jpg and resultant image so execute so that we'll get the boolean result now if you observe here just to refresh the page you'll get a dog line uh, let us check here sorry okay this is not image re yes result okay yes because our output image is in result row right? so we have to display that result as a dog line. Now let us refresh it. And here you can see dog line. So there is a line drawn here. Okay, you can observe here. There is a line. Right? And uh, if you observe here, let us take some 100 to 100, execute, the line will be changed. The position of the line will be changed. So you can see the straight line. Okay, from the 100, 100 to 100, 500. See, 100, 100 to 100, 500. So now, this is how we can draw a line. Okay, if, if you change the color, if you change the color, the color will also be changed. See, 
just go to the refresh the page so that the color will be changed so you can observe here the color has been changed right so in 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 a simple way we can draw the lines on the image so for that we have to use a line function first one is a image second one is a start point third one is a end point fourth one is a color and fifth one is a thickness so if you give 100 see the thickness will be increased This is a hundred thickness, hundred thick thickness, right? So this is the original image. This is the original image, and this is the image with line. So like this, we can draw a line on a images, right? So hope you understood this one. And if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, line function, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. If you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.